internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. I've got another friend on the line over from, I'll see if I see it right, Boston. Is it Andy? It's Boston. You got it. Baston. Where we can't find our khakis. Boston, your khakis. Yeah, those are <laughs> those are green pants over here, or gray pants, gray tan pants, khakis. But you got khakis. And, yes, and we pack our cars. How fat it, fat And we go to Florida, so we put an R at the end of anything ending in a vowel. vowel. Florida. <laughs> <laughs> so silly. <laughs> I like it. So, um, you might have seen some of these that I do. I don't do them too long, so we don't absorb too much of people's valuable time as a commodity. So, we just find out who you are, what do you do, where do you do it, and why do you do it. So, the first thing is, who in the world is Andy? Oh, my gosh. I'm an andy delicious, inspirational person out in the world sharing my advice for startups who are launching branding and building their businesses. And I believe in bringing the advice that you don't need to spend a lot of money and waste a lot of time. And I learned this not only through an MBA, but also through four businesses. I launched a VC-backed 8 million.com business. I had a food manufacturing business that was invest, had an angel investors, and I've done an online business, and I've had a consulting practice over the years. So I bring a lot of knowledge to the plate, but I work not only in the fundamentals, but also in the mindset because it's fun and you've got to have that great attitude while you're going through the enormous challenges of the entrepreneurial So, so when you do, you, you do the work with the individual person as far as mindset and shifting the way that they think and stuff? Absolutely. Sometimes oh, I okay. come in yeah, through a project. So I do a lot of work with minority-owned businesses and helping them get into supplier diversity programs. But while I'm there, I'm able to coach the business owner and help them with shifting their perception or managing a crisis. See, that's so cool because I was just talking, I don't know if you've ever done, dealt with people in the network marketing world, but a friend of mine, Eric Worre, he is a trainer for that MLMs and all that stuff. Uh -huh. And I was telling him, a lot of these people that go and they spend their 500 bucks and poof, they're in business, they don't know what it all really entails. And they just spend their 500 bucks, go out and start pushing their stuff on everybody without even developing a relationship. You know? Right. That's that's like going up to a perfect stranger and wanting to kiss them on the mouth. You exactly. know, you don't do that. You've well, got to sometimes. establish a relationship first. <laughs> and, you know, it, uh, nobody would do that. But when you go out and just start talking about your goods and services without an understanding of what their pain points are, what are their challenges and how you might be able to serve them. That's really what's key as a business owner is finding out who, what, where and why, as you do in our conversations is going on with the, their client and also identifying for who they are and their product, who their ideal client is and taking that time. And those who are not in MLM and network marketing, but are launching a business, I am a huge proponent and fan of establishing your brand promise before you do your logo, mm -hmm. before you do any of your artwork, really understand the emotional connection that you're going to have with your ideal client and that promise that you're going to deliver consistently day in and day out as you do through these conversations. Like uh, like some of the bigger companies that have a culture. Um, what's the, the shoe one? Um, well, Zappos? Yes. Or yep. Tom's. Tom's ha you know, puts out the Zappos. shoes and they give a free shoe to Zappos. the needy. Yeah, Zappos has a culture of the employees yeah. and uh, Tom's, they have that, their their mission and vision. So you absolutely got to get straight on that because if you change gears, you might lose all of your customers and your employees. Well, not only that, you know, you can't be schizophrenic in social media. You have to really be clear about your tone and your conversation and how you're delivering. So I'm Andylicious, which for some people, they might shudder and go, Ugh, which is great. That gets people out of the way right, right. away <laughs> yes, <laughs> and attracts uh, those who want Andylicious in their life. There's a speaker that we know of, uh, Larry Wingett. He just wants people to either, do you like me or do you hate me? We just sort you out right away. 
So that's and the way it's all works. good. Oh, it's yeah. okay. We're not here to make everybody happy. Exactly. So I always like to find out, are you more of an AM person or a PM person when you do your work? Oh, that has changed. I used to be a PM person, but as I've um, advanced through life, <laughs> I'm finding I'm doing more in the AM. That's a really good question. That's not to say that at 10 p.m. at night, I don't have some wonderful thoughts. I'm usually, though, now at this age and stage, wrapping up the day. Pretty much, uh, I wake up in the morning, and as soon as I, my eyes are open, I'm starting to think of ideas and things. But as soon as the sun sets, I'm kind of like, eh, I'm toast. I'm done. <laughs> so, <laughs> pretty much. But yeah. different people are different ways. I remember uh, I used to vacation with one of my best friends, and he was a late, he, it took him an hour or two to wake up. So, he'd shuffle around with his cup of coffee, and his eyes <laughs> take him forever to wake up. And then at night, he's on fire. And well, and a, and a lot of parents can probably relate to, I used to do a lot of my work after nine o'clock at night. Kids mm -hmm. were in bed, everybody was done now, finally my time. So until my kids just recently, you know, everybody's off to college. Um, I did a lot of work at night because that was the time I was alone. So the next question, I'll blend two of them together. And that's the, how do you do your work? Sort of your process. And then where do you do your work? Are you, do you just do your stuff on Skype or do you meet people one-on-one? -on -one? Do you do talks and seminars? Oh, or? thank you for asking. Well, for four or five years, I've had podcasts. I've had live video streamings. I primarily used, used Google Hangout back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, and I continue to have conversations both belly to belly because I live right outside of Boston, Massachusetts. We have so much going on. I also mentor, volunteer mentor at an accelerator in Lowell called Entrepreneurship for All. So it's a way to get out and serve the world. And my process is I work remote. I am not your gal who's going to show up at somebody's office at you know 8, 8 a.m. in the morning and stay until 6. That's just not how I roll. And so I serve through you know meeting people either online or just being very clear about my messaging and Folks show up in the most magical, random way. I, I feel so honored. And um, we find ways to work together that work for them and work for me. And that's my process. It's okay. just the unfolding. Well, before I ask my favorite question, I always save it till the end, sort of a cliffhanger kind of thing. Why don't you share how people can get a hold of you and if you have any new projects coming up or any new offerings that you could share. And uh, Thank you, thank you. Well, I'm andylyons.com, A-N-D-E-L-Y-O-N-S.com, and my I'm everywhere in social media, but my favorite bar is Twitter, and so my handle there is at Andy Lyons. For your viewers, I'd like to offer 50% off of my business snapshot for investors document. It's an exercise every business owner needs to go through. And it's a one sheet of your entire business model. And I have a how to video. And so I'll share the link with, with you and um, for you to share with your viewers. It's so important. Um, folks can go to my YouTube channel. I have dozens of wonderful, impactful, actionable videos there from interviews I've done as well as videos, how-to videos that I put out to the world and that's Andy Licious Advice on YouTube or you can just put Andy Lyons and you'll find me. Okay, that sounds easy enough. We know how to find you and I'll put to the links and all the things that I propagate out to the universe also. But here's the big question and this is the big why question. Why are you doing this as opposed to why aren't you like a a dancer or why aren't you like a start your own restaurant or why aren't you still running the businesses that you started why are you doing what you're doing now I am passionate about helping startups and small business owners latch on to what works for them to grow their business to build momentum and to maximize success it's a way to serve the world and one of my core values is to enhance folks to really recognize who they are and I have this unique ability to see very quickly their business and who they are <clears throat> and how that comes together <clears throat> excuse me and it's a unique quality that I love to bring to folks so that they can better see how they should serve the world and so it's a it's a really active service there's so much free advice on my website and on my YouTube channel and I just love 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 helping the early stage entrepreneur Okay, well, we all appreciate that to help us get through the path without having to chop down the trees ourselves. You kind of paved it for us, correct? 
Yes, <laughs> I love that. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Again, I don't like to do these too long. I like to keep things fast so people can kind of do what they got to do. And then if they need to get a hold of you, now they know how to. So Absolutely. Thank Andy, you so much. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you, Andy Licious. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Peace.